Hello and welcome to another episode of Kia Electric News. I'll start with the release of the UK pricing for the Kia EV3. There was a bit of a mixed reaction to the pricing to say the least. I did a video on the day the prices and trim details were released, followed by a more detailed video where I asked the question, is the EV3 overpriced? The other question I ask in the second video is, will the Nero EV have to be repriced downwards? Links to those are above. Hello, just, uh, just after I recorded this episode, I got more information from my dealer. I asked if the air spec had any support for vehicle to load uh, and which ones did have uh, vehicle to load support with an adapter. Because the specs I've seen, they mentioned the 13 amp socket and they mentioned having the plug-in adapter. But it turns out only the GT Line S has the vehicle to load adapter and the 13 amp socket. He says, I don't think the air spec comes with vehicle to load. So I think that ties up with the Belgian spec cars, which say it has no support. So I double check with your dealer and Kia if you can before you go for a GT line. But as far as I can tell from this information, the GT line and the GT line S have vehicle to load support. Also, my dealer sent me the full up to date spec sheet which you can see on the screen uh, with all the technical data. And that confirms, for, for example, it's got a rear wiper. Yay. Um, it doesn't say which car support and vehicle to load by plugging an adapter in. But as I've mentioned before, the EV6, I think even the air trim supported vehicle to load. Um, you can tell for sure when you get one by going through the menus. If it's got the vehicle to load menu, then it has it. Anyway, I'll put a link to this. Uh, there is a link on the Kia website I found, but that website is still being built. So some of the information is not quite there yet. But this spreadsheet has got all the information you need, including the colors, the wheel trims, everything, and the pricing. Anyway, I hope you find that useful. During the week, I came across this POV video of a walk around of all of the EV3 colors. I think they may have well renamed all the colors for the UK market, judging by the UK press release. Korean car blog has shown spy images of the forthcoming Kia EV4 spied for the first time in Europe as it gets closer and closer to launch. It will be built on the 400 volt version of Kia's eGMP platform with front wheel drive, just like the Kia EV3 has. The Motor Authority website has even more images taken by Baldorf, as you can see on their website. According to Australian website Drive.au, the Kia EV5 release in Australia has now been delayed until the end of the year due to last minute technical issues. After initial suggestions the delay could last a few weeks, Kia Australia has now advised the air and earth trims have been pushed back to launch alongside the GT line towards the end of the year. There is still no news on UK Kia EV6 facelift pricing or the UK Hyundai Insta pricing. Korean car blog reports that Hyundai Mobis has recently been awarded for its innovative product, the Active Aero Lighting System or AALS. To showcase this new technology, Mobis created this conceptual vehicle that was caught the attention. So we wonder why does Hyundai not release this as a production car and what is AALS? ALLS, which stands for Active Aero Lighting System, is an ingenious combination of aerodynamic enhancement and moving lamp systems. This dual functionality not only improves the vehicle's performance, but also adds a dynamic visual element to the design. Aerodynamic performance in vehicles is crucial to effective airflow control, which significantly impacts driving stability and fuel efficiency. Hyundai Mobis AALS system enhances this aspect by incorporating active aero parts that dynamically adjust to optimize airflow. This system has shown a 10% improvement in the drag coefficient, leading to notable benefits such as extended driving range, reduced weight and improved running stability. The lighting component of AALS is equally impressive. The system integrates head and rear lamps with active aero parts, creating the seamless and visually striking feature. The moving lamps, particularly the rear lamps hidden within the body, glide out when rear spoilers are deployed, creating a, a living vehicle image through movement and light. Key features of the AALS concept car. One, driving range extension by improving aerodynamics. Two, lightweight in this, uh, this system uses lightweight materials and components reducing the overall weight of the vehicle. Three, higher running stability. Enhanced aerodynamic performance translates to better stability at higher speeds. 
4. Improved communication. AALS uses an illuminating module and laser etching technique to enhance communication between the vehicle and its environment. 5. Use slim module. With a thickness of just 12 millimeters, the main optical system is ultra slim, providing a sleek design without compromising functionality. 6. H-LED technology. Compact and lightweight H-LEDs are used in daytime running lights, tail and stop lights, and turn signals, ensuring efficient and effective illumination. And finally, Hyundai USA has released the final part in its series. I know I said that it was the final one before, but it's not. Lightning in the Throttle, part four, the mountain bites back. The Hyundai PR blurb on YouTube says, after months of planning for Pikes Peak, the only direction to go now is up. Hyundai and team Brian Herter Autosport bring the Ionic 5N to Pikes Peak with every intention to set the bar for the electric production SUV crossover record. But with its treacherous twists and turns, all the test runs in the world can't prepare you for the unexpected challenges that could come. Paul Dellenbach, Ron Zaros and the team face off with the mountain as the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb is just beyond the horizon. And TA spec record run. It looks like they had a little bit of an off if you look at the thumbnail. Anyway, that's all for this week. As usual, all links to stories and videos can be found in the show notes in the video description. Thank you for all the comments and likes and new subscribers this week. Also a big shout out to my channel members who support this channel financially. Your help is very much appreciated. Thank you for watching.